As much as I love TypeScript, there are some missing pieces. One of the biggest things I've been waiting for in the ecosystem is a better way to actually look at the types without having to install the package and open everything up in VS Code. If you've defined your types well, you should just be able to look at them. And for whatever reason, it hasn't been easy to do. Well, there is a reason. Nobody's built the tool for it. Well, no one had built the tool for it until today. Now we have a much better solution with TS Doc and I'm so excited to share it with you guys today. TS Doc's a new project created by Shubham. He's originally known for creating bundle phobia, which I would hope all of us have used before, because bundle phobia is the best way to figure out quickly how much JavaScript is going to be added to your bundle when you install a new package with NPM. Really, really useful tool that I've relied on heavily for a long time. And clearly this guy knows what he's doing because he's now made yet another tool. I initially heard about TS Docs through Jovi, tweeting how cool it was with some examples, but I also saw it from Schles this morning, which really enforced that I need to talk about this. And as soon as I opened up the page and saw just how useful it was, I understood why everyone's talking about it, because this is really, really cool. Let's take a look at a package that doesn't necessarily define its types great, but we'll see how it goes. Upload thing, oh, you can just upload thing. Looks like the first time it has to install the package to extract the docs. The key here, the thing that it's extracting is TS docs. Hopefully this encourages more library routiners to create TS doc annotations for their exported functions. While this is generating for upload thing, we'll take a look at the examples he shared because they're really good. One was create request from URQL. URQL is kind of like React query for GraphQL stuff and it's in a really good state. And we see here a pretty awesome page considering that this page wasn't created by anyone working on URQL. This page was created by the type definitions in the actual source code, which is, to be frank, really, really cool. We go to the top level here, we see all of the classes, functions, variables, and all the other things that are exported by this package. And we can dive in to see what the function query is, how they describe it, what parameters it takes, what it returns, all the stuff you might need to know about the type definition for any given thing in your project. And all of this is again, generated by your TS doc code. Really, really cool stuff. So if your package is properly documented, it should come up in here and it should look really good. Here's another example that was provided from Fuse, which again, showcases not just how nice these little descriptions and examples are, but how good these deeply nested types can look in this UI. It's way clearer what is where here than if you were to even look at this in VS Code directly. This is great. This is a really good user experience for diving into the types of projects. Here is the three JS types. At the top level, we actually have a summary from the package because they gave additional details there. But the same deal, we can explore through all the classes, functions, and all the other things that exist in the project. If you're not already familiar with 3JS, pretty heavy. It's a WebGL wrapper so that you can build 3D environments in the browser and the canvas, which means it has a lot of different classes for the different object types, camera types, textures, lighting, and all the different crazy things you have to do in a game engine. And these things have complex types. We even have box two and box three. Let's take a look at box three. It has a constructor that takes in a min and a max optional and has all these methods that get automatically documented just by defining a type for them. This is so cool and is one of the best ways to look through a project like this. Obviously, 3JS has some really good docs already, but having this as a tool to just check type definitions quickly is huge. And if you were to combine this with something like in VS Code, a little button when you hover over an external type definition that brings you to this page, there are some really powerful developer experience wins possible here. Someone in chat just pointed out that this looks a lot like the docs that Rust generates, and it does. That's by design. Most other strictly typed languages have had tools for this type of code gen for docs for a while, but now TypeScript does too. And it's a hobby side project by a random developer. And I think that is so cool. Here's Axum, a popular web framework in Rust. And here we can see, once again, their actual documentation, but also the documentation of all their types. We can go through here and see the type, how it's defined, required methods, all the stuff, because the language itself encourages you to write type definitions and write not just the type definition, but a bit of context as to why. And you'll notice this looks very similar to the experience we just had with TS doc because it's trying to do the same thing, trying to make it easier for us to look at the types and look at the overall scope of a project. And I'm honestly amazed there wasn't a good solution for this before. I did see a few people mention that things existed like JS docs and pocket.dev, which all seemed really cool and I'm happy they existed, but these were clearly early. If Snowpack is one of the examples here, this is ancient because Snowpack hasn't even been used by the Snowpack team for four years now. They moved over to Beat. But it is really dope to have someone as prolific as the creator of Bundlephobia going out of their way to build something like this. So yeah, 
Give it a shot if you haven't already. TS Doc seems really, really dope, and I'm hyped that there's finally a project providing this experience for TypeScript developers. What do you think? Is this cool to you? Let me know in the comments if you like it, and I'll be sure to make more videos about stuff like this. Thank you guys as always. See you in the next one. Peace, nerds.